Hello everyone, welcome to some basic tech and today I will show you how you can configure a mail alerting system and how you can create alert alerting profile on Dynatrace. So uh, let's get started. So first of all, if I talk about host, so I have added one host in my dashboard. I am in a dashboard right now. Now this is my dashboard host monitoring and uh, this is the already created some problems this is the manually created problem i just for checking purpose so if i show you so this is the tricks.com this is the my virtual machine which is showing here it will uh, prompt you the all things within a minute and uh, so uh, basically if i show you uh, how i just got kind of alert so you can see here these are the alert messages which i am getting through my uh, dynatrace monitoring system <coughs> so uh, basically if i am going to configure so uh, we need to configure two phases first of all we need to configure alerting system alerting profile it means we will define how many things we want to get alerts and the second thing is that integration means uh, how we want to get alerts suppose it's a mail yeah so we are configured through the mailing system so uh, okay you you just need your own mail id or your company mail id to configure this feature so uh, let's do it first of all we need to come to the manage and inside manage just click to settings so uh, inside settings we need to search alerting so here is that configure alerting settings so let's do it problem alerting profile once you come to here you will see add alerting profile option to create new alerting profile i have already created the sbt alert here and uh, i have defined my most of settings over here so uh, i will create a test alert right now to show you how you can create it so in the first section we need to define the name so test alert that's fine and this is optional so i will choose also as optional and just click to save changes once you click to save changes you will see test alert is created but we need to define some severity rules to find out what kind of things we want to get alert so let's define as well so a uh, sum of default create default severity rules are already defined we only need to choose them and uh, just verify them that's it so just add severity rule and once you click the first is availability you can just click to minutes suppose how uh, much faster you want some alerts so i just given the one minute okay once you click to one minute and uh, now add severity rule again and define error error means if any uh, errors are getting then i will get alerts within a minute now define monitoring unavailable so here we also need to define minutes i just mention one minute and save it and let's see how many things we added over here so we added availability monitoring error alerts let's click to more and uh, resource i want alert within a minute as well you can define the minutes according to your requirement and uh, if you are facing any issue while creating these alerts or anything so you can directly ping me uh, on this video or this a uh, comment sections i will help you to resolve it and uh, yeah let's do it for one more and then we will go for the next so currently we added the error and availability and all that so if you are going to custom then you uh, basically need to know what kind of things you want to define suppose i am going to define a uh, one and uh, include all entities and just make it at the severity level that's it so i just defined some of things in taste alert and uh, now let's go and configure the main thing that is the al integration part once you click to integration inside the same alerting profile uh, in aware tab and then click to problem notification once you click here you will see 
I have already created set created uh, alert profile. So uh, let's do it the next that will uh, also help us to define. So I'm going to create some custom integration and choose over here as the mail. Once we click to mail display name test alert. That's it. Two. We want which kind of email ID. So I'm adding as a my test email ID. That's it. And uh, if you want to add any other email ID, so you can just click to add more and you can get and you will add here. If you want to close, just close it. CC, you can do CC and uh, BCC also you can do it. You can define the name and uh, yes send email if problem is closed so this is the kind of uh, uh, you know radio button to you can enable or disable if the problem is resolved then we definitely want to kind of find information as well and uh, alerting profile default so uh, this is the kind of thing that we just created recently that is the alert so that the alerting profile we created already so we will choose that so we chosen email we chosen test alert and mail id now we need to just only test alert so we got the test alert profile here and uh, let's save changes so created two mail ids over here and uh, test alert and here is the svt alert so let me disable it because uh, this is the two mail ids and it will maybe create some issues so i just disabled and uh, let's minimize it sorry uh, yeah expand it and try to send one notification and let's see what happens here is that uh let me seven three seven okay i also got the notification unavailability of post uh let's wait let's see what happens let me show you the manual notification sending process i just send the mail yeah you can see here I received the mail right now Dynatrace problem notification test run details so this is a test run that I ran right now and uh, let's do it for next step that is automation so uh, yeah we did it over here let's uh, refresh the page I'm going to uh, just you know shut down this machine and let's see what happens so guys uh, when I just stopped this machine so I didn't get any error but now I just came back and started it again and so I got the kind of alert message that problem resolved so let me show you so this is that kind of mail I received which is resolved problem so in summary we can see and identify what was the issue so issue is that monitoring not available on host so it means it was shut down state so that's why so this is how we can identify and we can configure the monitoring part in Dynatrace so yeah